So I left um, July 1st for basic training. I went through basic training for two and a half months. And then I went to AIT and I've uh, done training for uh, Tour 5 Sierra, which is satellite communications. And I was in that for seven months. Um, actually requires a lot of math, um, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's actually a great skill. And uh, I had that training for seven months. There's about 250 of us, 300. We got through the training, and then about five of us got selected to do additional training, which is uh, it's called One Charlie. And um, we do that training, and uh, about five of us got selected, and it's a job where you do your controller of satellite communications instead of just an operator or maintainer. And it required us all trigonometry. Uh, I have four and a half months of training for it coming up. And I have that training for four and a half months, and it's all trigonometry, all training uh, as far as that goes. But I get it's a great place to go because you get uh, only five duty stations, which is Japan, Hawaii, Germany, and uh, Fort Meade and Fort Dietrich, which are both in Maryland. Um, but a lot of the skills I learned for that job or I learned here as far as uh, doing the my trigonometry classes here with Mr. Schwartz and um, just the event team that I went through. So that was a great uh, club that we did. And that's just a great opportunity to go through. And So tell us a little more about your training. Um, I've been training for satellite communications where we're controlling um, bandwidth going out to different uh, throughout the Army. and. Uh, who the information gets sent to, and who all gets connected, and... Yeah, civilian demand for your skill set? Uh, there's an extremely large civilian demand, and uh, just out of this job in the Army, you get paid six figures right from leaving, which is one of the main reasons why I, why I took the job. Um, it's very high demand, and uh, the Army's actually in high demand of it, too. That's why uh, they pay you so much. They get, you get paid a lot to do this job and stuff, um, which a lot of people still leave because it's greater outside civilian world because you get six figures right out of the bat. Uh, a lot of people I know they got paid $180,000 just coming out um, from the army straight to another job uh, without any additional training or anything like that. So it's just a great opportunity and I definitely plan on getting out of the army after my four years. So then uh, what would you say like your major skill sets are? All math and problem solving what we do is we're uh, upkeeping all of our equipment and we have a lot of faults that go on throughout the equipment and you have to be able to figure out how to fix them and get them fixed in a timely manner because communications always have to be up and always going. So it's pretty much all problem solving and we have to know a lot of trigonometry and it's very easy to get dropped from the course if you don't know any math or if you're just even weak in math. You have to be extremely good at it. So it's a great skill to have and I don't know a lot of jobs that are all high paying, pretty much all require math. So my friend who's in AIT right now, um, he just graduated, but as long as he graduated, he got a contract with Google. For when he finishes his four years, he's going to get an eight thousand dollar contract to do a job with them. And so he already has the contract that he's going to complete once he gets out of the army. So will he be like a technician for their servers? Uh, yeah, uh, just operating servers, making sure they all stay up at all times and stuff. So.